dear brothers and sisters in Christ, I wish you all the joy and peace of Christ. Let's make the sign of the cross. By the sign of the cross from our enemies, deliver us, O Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Praise the Lord. Today is the third Friday of Lent, and we will be reflecting reflecting on the third verses of Jesus on the cross. It's taken from the Gospel of St. John, verses, chapter 19, verses 26 and, 26 and 27. It is said, Woman, here is your son. And to St. John, he says, Here is your mother. Jesus, who experienced the goodness of a spiritual and physical mother in Mary, he entrusted us all to her care. And he expects us also to be an obedient child to her as he was to her. And Mama will never leave us. She will walk with us specially when we walk on the way of the cross of our daily sufferings. In the shrines of Shainstad congregations, I have seen it is written, Servus Marie Nancum Peribit, which means the servants of Mary will never be perished. Yes, dear brothers and sisters. Today there are many people who do not want to accept to her a real mother of God who thinks that she is useless. But if you are truly Catholic, if you really love Jesus, Jesus wants you and me to love mother who stood with Jesus under the cross, who experienced Jesus' suffering in her heart and she always stood for our salvation. And today, she is the only refuge for all the sinners. She is the helper of Christians. She is the queen of heaven. She is the mother of God. And none other can help us to have salvation or reach Jesus or enter into heaven today. One of the saint has, saints have said, if you want fruit, you need to go to the tree. If you want Jesus, you need to go to Mary. It is through Mary the world has received Jesus. And it is only through Mary we can receive Jesus. Today, if you are not able to pray, take your rosary. Pray the rosary with much devotion. Louis, St. Louis Montfort always suggests to consecrate oneself to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Dear brothers and sisters, let us consecrate our lives, consecrate ourselves, our communities, our families to the, to the Immaculate Heart of Mary for the praise and glory of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit today. O oh, Heavenly Father, Jesus and Holy Spirit, we consecrate oneself and the whole humanity to the Immaculate Heart of Mary for the praise and glory of your Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Keep us always under her care to be protected from all kinds of evil and at the end, we may come in union with you. Amen.